Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now let's look at what you can do to manipulate the channels in the channels panel. One thing that you can do is duplicate channels. This may be a good task to do before editing a channel. To do this, select a channel to duplicate from the channels panel and then click the options button in the channels panel. From the pop-up menu that appears, select Duplicate Channel, and then in the dialog box, type a name in the As text box right here. We'll just leave that as green copy for right now. And then select the destination image if there's more than one open for the channel. You can duplicate a channel into another image, but they must have identical pixel dimensions. When you're ready, just click OK, and we'll see our copy over here. You can also mix the color channels to make color adjustments that aren't easily reproducible with the other color adjustment tools, create high quality grayscale images, or create high quality tinted images, for example. This is basically the same thing as applying the channel mixer adjustment layer, except that it affects the selected channel directly and thus the image versus being applied through a layer. In versions CS5 and CS4, you can access the channel mixer by selecting Layer, and then New Adjustment Layer, and then select the channel mixer from this side menu that appears. Give that a click. You'll need to give the new layer a name in the Name text box. We'll leave it as Channel Mixer 1 for now, and then just click OK. Or you can just select the channel mixer icon located in the Adjustments panel. We've looked at this before. It's located right here. Or you can even select one of the channel mixer presets that are available in there as well. Now in versions CS3 and earlier, you select Image, Adjustments, and Channel Mixer from the menu bar to get to the same place. But once you have the Channel Mixer dialog box open in the Adjustments panel, Use the drop down at the top to select into which channel you want to blend the other colors. Then you just click and drag on any of the available sliders to increase or decrease the slider color channel's amount of color contributed to the selected output channel. So you can just click and drag these sliders. You can use the constant slider down here at the bottom to increase or decrease the amount of black and white in a separate channel. Like that. You can select the monochrome checkbox up here to control the contrast in an image that you plan to convert to great scale. If I give that a click and then uncheck it, you can then use the sliders to create a hand-tinted appearance for your image. Like that. Now, in versions CS5 and CS4, the changes will take place right away, or you can delete them by clicking the trash can icon, and then selecting Yes to discard it. If you're using CS3 and earlier, then you click OK to accept the channel adjustments or click Cancel to discard the changes that you made. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.